Hi everyone and welcome to this video from beautiful St. Croix, one of the three main US Virgin Islands. We flew there from Miami and we got there at night so there wasn't a lot to see but let's just start out with a little room tour of where we're staying before we skip to the next day and the rest of the video. So this is our little cottage here. And Hello. Dennis is here. And oh, That's so good. oh it's really, amazing. Really pretty. And here we are, very tired, but very happy. In the bed. Oh, See, we have a sea theme going on. Oh, that's so cute. And then outside, we have a little patio. Two chairs. Hi everyone, and welcome to this video from beautiful, beautiful St. Croix, one of the US Virgin Isles. We just arrived yesterday, and now we are trying to find a place to get some food. And over here we have my boyfriend Dennis, Globetrotter, if I have a new one. Not really though. It's really funny because the street name is in Danish. Yeah, the street names are in Danish. Yeah, so this street is called Strandgade and in English it translates to Beach Street. This looks like a postcard. Check out this cute little courthouse. It does not look like a Supreme Court building. like we're the only tourists on the island. So from 1700 and something, I forgot, um, I'll write it here, until 1917 these islands were Danish and these bricks, I think, um, have been transported here from Denmark as uh, the ballast for the ships. Fredrikstad is a small town so you don't find a lot of cafes and restaurants there but we found this cute little cafe called Pali's where we had breakfast and the food was actually really good. The US Virgin Islands are known to be very expensive, um, but this place was actually not too bad. So that was an added bonus. We can definitely recommend you swing by Polly's if you're ever in Frederickstead. Well, someone wants something, but the signs say no, and also I say no because this is good. Take a look at this. All the beautiful old buildings in the background bell tower and the pier out here and then Dennis down here knocking on stuff <laughs> don't ask me why I think he well checking if they're okay I can see from here that they're not we are inside Fort Frederick admission is five dollars per person so that's very very doable and I, I'm gonna show you around and I'm gonna show myself around. Come inside here, see this beautiful old building from 1760. Wow, so this is the, the courtyard, or what you call it. That staircase is beautiful. So this teeny tiny door leads into the powder magazine. It says here, that the vault was originally used to store gunpowder and later it was used as a detention cell. So come on, let's see it. <laughs> Look how small it is. <laughs> it's very small, but I'm also tall. Yeah. Wow. It is way cooler in here than outside, but it would still be... Burning hot. Yeah, well, I would not like to be a prisoner here though. <laughs> Pabuzi again. Is this history or what is it? It's so exciting to be here because it's, it's Danish and then not really. A lot of Danish history here, yes. History. And we do not have a lot of, there's not a lot of Danish history out, out in the world. Not, not anymore. The 21 guns were fired, then it was lowered and stars and stripes boisted under salute of another 21 guns. So that was when the US 
took over here on the islands. The islands have known the flags of both Spain, the Netherlands, England, France, the Knights of Malta and the main reason we visited the Virgin Islands, Denmark. There are two main cities on the island of St. Croix, Frederikstad and Christiansted, or in Danish, Frederikstad and Christiansted. We stayed in the smaller of the two, Frederikstad, which is located on the west end of the island. Wow, I would not hate to live here. Oh my god, living here and having this view. Very sweaty, but I think a lot of sweaty people have looked in this mirror. Frederikstad is also known as Freedom City because it was the place where the Danish Governor General Peter van Schalten read the proclamation abolishing slavery in 1848. I'm <laughs> sweating. Bullets or cannonballs. I am absolutely melting away here, but this is a once in a lifetime amazing experience. And now Dennis wants to see the cannons. We've saved them for last because he likes them the most. <laughs> fort Frederick is one of the island's two forts and it is my favorite of the two. The fort was built by Denmark between 1752 and 1760 to defend the economic interests of the port and to ward off pirates of the Caribbean. Sorry, I had to. The fort and the town were named in honor of the Danish king, Frederick V. You look like you're making babies with the cannon. <laughs> and on that note, We're stocking up on most, well, oh. mainly beers. I've never seen this before. Carlsberg Elephant, that is the most Danish thing you could ever get. They're buying the cheapest beers because the cheapest beers are not cheap. After stocking up on beers and breakfast for the next couple of days, we went back to the place we were staying and down to its beautiful private beach. We stayed at this beautiful place called Cottages by the Sea. It has one of the best beaches on the island and it is only a 15 to 20 minute walk from the center of Frederikstad and you can borrow bicycles for free. The room we stayed in was $185 a night and we absolutely loved it. And we have a little library in here and a washing machine. And then we're staying right in here. It's called Carol. He says, you're playing football. No, we're playing Yahtzee. Hello. We all needed to get out of the sun, so we're playing Yahtzee and having Old Milwaukee, America's beer. That's it for this video from Frederikstad. In the next video, we visit the bustling little town of Christianstad on the other side of the island. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and remember to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and in that case, I will see you in my next video from Christianstad. Bye!